My name is Adam Porzak with Porzak Golf, taking your game to the next level and beyond. We have a treat for you guys today. Kevin Lucas, Corn Ferry Tour player, getting ready for his 2021 season. We had a fantastic time with this guy. He is an incredible personality and an even more talented player. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and please enjoy the video. Kev, so it's all about just trying to get a more direct path to the golf ball, right? Yeah. Just more direct to the golf ball. The more direct to the golf ball, all that means is what? A little bit more connected? A little bit more rotation? The godfather. <laughs> I love, I, that's why I'm so happy the camera's here today, for you. Oh, no, absolutely, here's how they're playing. With myself. I we're, winning mentality right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're trying to win golf tournaments here. Um, identifying go-to drills and the purpose of them. So, go-to drill. Setting the club, rotating through impact. Right there, I'm just simply feeling my body's rotation square that club face. The hand action wasn't until release way later, post-impact. But here's what's great about that. Constant angle of attack, ball first contact, stable club face longer through impact, constant rotation, no drop to that club. When I film you doing that, I want to see you be able to do that and hit it down the line like I just did and not have it kind of wipey right when it, when it happens. So yeah, it's, it's like sticking the face longer. Yeah, I want to see more opened up at the point of impact, less lateral movement. Does that make sense? Watch my left hip. Around. You got this, bud. Set it, left hip deeper and further behind you through impact. I love that. Mm. How about the sound of that? That's pretty sweet. Do a little stop one for me, okay? I wanna, I wanna film, I wanna see perfection in the drill yeah. before we do anything with the full swing, okay? okay. So. Let's go to the set position, which I, 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 I talk about the set position, guys. We're talking pocket high with the hands, like you're pushing that beach ball below the level of the water, right? Feeling really engaged, a little downward pressure on the heel pad of that left hand. And right here, you're only gonna hinge it right here. And you can, you, you can give it a little extra, but then right through the golf ball. No time to manipulate anything, just turn. And I love this because what it's gonna force you to do, it's gonna force you to, oh, look at this, watch how cool this is. Yeah, steepening, getting down. I just need to trust the bottom. <laughs> trust the bottom. I mean, okay, I'll make sure the camera can see this because that's like everything we look for. Now, watch this though. This is, you know, not to throw the guy under the bus here, but he's hitting it perfect. He's playing great golf. It's just, you know, we're trying to make sure we eliminate this where the golf club comes in steep and then has to get that dropping motion like that. And, and you can see, you do a great job controlling the face because you're athletic through impact, but look at the way the club just doesn't yeah. ride down the yeah. plane right there, okay? So very important to see the difference between that and this, which you can work on. I call it hitting, hitting a cut from the bottom of your swing. Yeah. Look at that, boom, it's beautiful. Why? Why would we work on that? Well, it's a more direct path of the golf ball, less manipulation. The club doesn't have any time to roll or do any twisty turny. Nonsense. It's going to be a lot to square that up, right? Exactly. Instead of... So check this out, like for me it feels like this, right? I feel like my hands drive into that imaginary wall right there. Yeah. And then here's the big one. My body's relatively still facing the golf ball. And then all the rotation happens, from there. boom. And that's where the back of this left hand I've always felt like is backhanding that wall as I rotate around that left side. Just one motion, set it right to halfway back. Boom, boom, yeah. How good was that? Man, that's beautiful. What a great swing that was. 
And Kev, especially when you're tight and that next little locked up, you know, what a great thing to work on. We just work on chest high to chest high and own that right now. When I'm loose or just free swing. Yeah. Because you got all the principles in here that you need to have your golf ball right. When, when we're not Formula One race car driving, you know? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, that's where, for the viewer, that it's not, I mean, the swing is so good, but it doesn't even do the ball flight justice because that ball flight's so good. You see these wedges taking off just below the level of the tree line out here and just holding a really frozen line. It's pretty impressive. It's something that all players should be working to do. Oh, I got the low wedge all day. Yeah. Look at this. Here's the 130 back left turn. So, so let's look at look, look. Oh. Hey, Gabe, get all up in there. See if the, see. Hey, Kev, get us another one of those. See, let's see if Gabe can get all up in there. Gabe, I'm not talking like Gabe. Get way up in this guy's business. Mm. Ooh, that's the one right there. I could watch you do that all day long, man. It's so pretty. God, it's so. How much fun is that when you get those good when you get those good driving ranges out in the desert too? And you have and you just oh, and you just have the good golf balls and you just want to have like a real green to hit too. Pro V, that's coming off even like even tighter. Like three degrees lower. Absolutely. So what's really nice about these swings is you don't have any drop to them whatsoever, right? The club just goes up, goes right back down. It feels like it's on a singular plane. Yep. Like, it's never moving off that, which, I mean, for me, I know that's where I'm going to play my best one. Absolutely. No, I mean, I've, that's probably to be said for anybody, but I just, I feel like I'm such a gamer that if I'm in in just a consistent position that's not manipulated. The world is my oyster. Agreed, my man. So check this out. Our tendency, we know this, but just for the viewer too, tendency was to get a little bit high hands, left arm above the shoulder plane, steep in transition, and then shallowing the club late. Great thing about Kevin, unbelievable through impact regardless of where he is. Great trade of all, you know, great golfers. You know, even when the golf club isn't in the ideal spot, you find a way to make it work through impact. But um, we've really played some great golf as of recent. What is it, 34 of our last 35 rounds since we've been working have been under par. Uh, a lot of those have been in competitive play too, uh, which is really great. So I'm excited to see where we're going. All we're working on really is just being more connected. Bro broke the course record of the hideaway. Oh, see, that's, that's noteworthy. That's noteworthy. Did you really find it out the other day after? after. <laughs> or like a week later, they're like, dude, that's the course record. That's the course record. I'm like, oh, sweet. <laughs> that's awesome. That's so cool. That's so cool. Um, you know, a couple things, though, that I just want to remind you. The more the left side turns the left arm back there, obviously the hand path is going to be ideal. Yeah. The more this right arm is in the right position at the set position back here, you know, you look at this right arm, and it's like we're giving blood and the hand's facing out away. Like I'm looking at the camera like this. Now watch, what's nice about this is I can just, it's like a pivot point, everything just turns right around it. It stays the same, the structure stays the same. I've always had a right elbow that, that didn't trail the club head. It didn't, or didn't lead the club head. Didn't lead the club head. Is what I'm saying. And the, almost like the elbow was leading the club head and, and throwing it at the top, like you're saying, getting steep late late in the transition, early in the downswing, and it's, that's, I've, I've never known how to do it, but he simplifies it. Right? More simplifying it, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, it's, just do it. It's, well, it's like you're shaking hands, like this is, this is a great one right here. Um, my dad and I came up with this one after I had been trying to figure this darn takeaway out when I was younger, and you know, if, if this is checkpoint one, where down the line of the feet, golf club is parallel to the ground, right? We all know that, I made that clear. The big thing is, you have this hand here, and you're just, shaking hands with somebody, but you're not being rude and just going, oh, hey, nice to meet you. You're also not going to be like this, hey, nice to meet you. You're going to address them. You're going to go, hey, nice to meet you. That's that nose following the hands, following the club. Opens up that turn, open up that turn, get that little Nicholas head swivel just a little bit like this. Guess what? Bigger upper body turn, deeper, hand path gets better, club comes down shallower, and we have no reason to drop that club because we're going to be constantly rotating. Oh, man. 
<clears throat> no, it's, that's exactly what we're looking for. And I think, I think that <clears throat> if you can just build that as kind of not only a go-to shot, but then also just a little go-to drill, just make it the bigger version all the time, golden. One of the things that's gonna make a big difference for you. Like I love that miss. Oh, it's so much better, isn't like it? That is, because I've always felt like I'm like, I control the face with the turf in a way. Mm -hmm. So it's like that, if I don't take a divot or if I'm not hitting down on it like that and rotating, rotating the potential really is to go that way. Is, right? Well, it's either that then right or the left. So that miss right there was a compressed, just so we, everybody knows, a compressed, what, five yards right of your target, but hits solid. And what he means by the turf controlling the face, especially with this Bermuda, I mean, when you're staying down and the low point of the swing is that four inches past the golf ball, that club face is stabilized the whole time. It's just, you know, you're, yeah, you're not seeing any of this as people hit down. You know, when it's, it's when it's going up and leveling out that that happens. But right? when we're hitting down, man, and that's what, you know what that is, though? That's the no drop right there. Yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. it's just when we made no drop, just the club tracing right down. We made a little cool before the camera started rolling. We were talking about the one where, you know, you put a metal washer right here. The club's coming down to impact. Boom. It's like a metal, metal washer here, and that club just goes, right? There's no drop to that club. It doesn't leave that path. And that's where when the hand path gets off, Mine's like ripping then it just has to then, the absolutely, yeah. It's doing this. This is really good. Two parts to it. We got our backswing, obviously we know what we need to be accomplishing, but then the through swing is really, really simple. Just constant movement, constant rotation. Be patient to the top, really get this one back there and do that. Yeah, so pretty. You can't add it better than that. And, 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 and my only thing, um, and, I, and I'm actually happy, you know what I like? Gabe and I were talking about this the other day. We love how our players can go back and watch their own lesson too. Dylan told me that. Dude, dude, dude that's what I'm saying. Like, dude, that's the best thing because you get on the course and you're like, okay, look at this, watch it before you go, and then that's what you work on. And what's so, and what's so cool about this is, like that one in particular, because you'll have the eye for it. That one, and our viewer might have to play it back, but like watch at the top how there was just no twisty turny of the club face or steepening of the shaft. It was just here, and then it was here. Right, and that's where the patience at the top makes that difference. Which has always been tough for me, but I feel like if I'm, if I know I'm in a good position, and you can trust it. I want to get back to the golf ball so bad. Like when I get to the top of my swing, I'm like, I can't wait to get back to the ball. And I've always had a quick transition, but if that gather motion, and I looked at because I have all my videos from when I, you know, tournaments that I played the best, or you know, my ball striking was good, or had great results, and I look back over the years common denominator was gathered every single one of them was gathered mm -hmm. all right what do we do with this one what, what do you want let's hit your stock standard one fairway finder Straight ball. Fairway. Get that left hip up a little bit. There you go, just a little bit, there we go. Try to feel on this one, bud, right here. Try to feel like on the way down, deeper and more behind you with that left pocket, okay? okay. In that I don't mind that, though. This Oh, I know. That's what I'm. That's why I'm like I don't mind that at all. Like that's that's on the face, slight heel, but just still right in the air. Right in the zone, and that's the you know for the for the viewer once again. That's that that's that ball flight's only going you know a few yards right, but it's just good to. That's a good miss for a tour player. There it is. Perfect right there. You know what I like though? 
You know your swing's in a good spot though when you're trying to hit little draws and they're staying so straight but just barely drawing. Yeah. I, I just love that. You know, I, I, one, I feel like I can just You let can it let it go and you have the confidence to do that on the golf course, a beautiful thing. Yeah. And there's the ideal one right there. That's so pretty, dude. It's fantastic. Let's hit some drives. Yeah. <laughs> I would just. I would just keep doing it. Yeah, I've been driving. This driver's so good. You love it. Yeah. Get another one made up. Keep them. Keep get both. Yeah, don't don't make me one. Good. <laughs> I've always been over the years an incredibly efficient driver of the golf ball. Like right now, I th I'm only like 113 right now, just with the shoulder thing I had and stuff. Just lost a little bit of speed, but I'm keeping up with guys that are like 118, 120 because I get on track, man, and it's literally optimal in that optimal range. Yeah. Did it 113? I'm still carrying it 290 and rolling at 20. And. The last couple years, I've just, with that drop under late in the steep, it took my efficiency out, took all that. And since we've been working together now, it's like, now I feel like I'm a robot on the tee again. And now I can pull this thing wherever. It's awesome, dude. It looks so nice. An advantage, you know, instead of, it was a disadvantage. You know what I just like? You know what I really like though? I like your misses. Yeah. Your misses are just like I know. Like I know that doesn't feel great, the one you just hit, but it's like, dude, it that. doesn't affect your score at all. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it's, it's like what? Maybe 0 .01 shots. Point zero one shots, just because the club you'd be hitting in. Yeah. That was hammered. Yeah, and that one really isn't. Yeah. That's a nice place to be. Oh, I hate yeah. turning it. Yeah. I'm fine if I pull, because I'm usually not, if it's pulling left and staying there, yeah. where my lines are, it's still in the fairway. It's when it turns left, but. Your control of the club face right now in the backswing is awesome. If I keep focusing on that, okay? Really just try to get that. Focus in there and then. Absolutely. You know, it's, you know, it's funny. That's how you know a guy. A guy and you are doing doing a good job together. Because I'm sitting here about to just tell him, "Hey, dude, can you please flight it below that uh, six iron?" Like just the same same exact thought, just underneath the level of that. Where we. I'm gonna put myself on the spot here. I'm gonna absolutely strike this one. <laughs> I love that. Let's do this. <laughs> Idea. The, the idea the idea was there didn't quite hit it perfect but it was exactly the line that we're looking for at the flight we're looking for all right i'm not afraid of failure oh heck no man onward onward next one beautiful and you know what's funny is it's only failing depending upon how you view it like we're always we're we're, we're i feel like we're always winning um even when we're losing, because to be honest with you, it's all about perspective. And, and really, you know, I didn't feel like that when I played at all, especially those who know me. <laughs> I was not like that at all. But as I got older and realized, man, hmm, there's something to learn from everything. Well, if you can, for me, it's like, I've all, like, I embrace failures now in my life, like, and the downs and everything, because it's later in life, something that I cannot do again. Like, if I hit a bad shot, I made a move. If I have awareness of myself, whether it's in life or in this swing, yeah, I can. The next one's gonna be good. Well, you know what's funny? We talked about it's all about perspective. We talked about that uh, about your brother, about number one, number one bass fisherman in the world. It's unbelievable. I love that for all all of our golfers who are fishing fans. Brother's name, obviously, Justin Lucas. Justin Lucas. Yeah. Sick. Um, but here's the thing. I'm sure he would agree. Wasn't it the journey that's almost the most fun part to getting there, oh, rather yeah. than just once you're there? It's like, man. Once you're there, it's 
It's, I mean, it's cool. It's cool at the moment. But then, I mean, and he had to, he followed up his best year of fishing, 2018 Bass Pro Stadium of the Year, with 2019 his worst year as a pro. And he started out 2020 last year, first two events, crap. So he had, you know, a good 14 months of bad fishing after his best. And he had to reestablish his goals. He had to re-find re his motivation and, and get that feeling again. And he had one tournament where he, had, he tasted it again. And he won two out of his next three events mm. and then climbed the rankings again. And it, That's so cool. And now he can, you know, he's found it again. That's awesome. And he'll, he'll probably have some crazy success again and he'll have a lull. And, but the greatest, the greatest athletes of all time and successful people, everybody goes through that. It's how to get yeah. out of it. Absolutely. It happened to a brother that's already been through it. Right? That's unbelievable. That's really, that's a, that's an advantage right there. Totally Super cool. So nice. It's nice about those. They get up, but they have like no spin. No, it's like, so I'm good. Like 13 launch right now with like a 2100 spin. Jeez, dude. It's optimal. Yeah, that's, that's working. Sounds like that ball gets up and carries, but it doesn't get floaty, you know what I mean? So it was a heavy ball flight. I like that window right there, though. Yeah, that's the window I like better. Yeah, me too. The wind's off the right. I know, that's a good ball right there. The ball was pinched. Yeah, it was. That's where the one I just, I just, it's like that low, that, you know, underneath this, you're saying. The face Remember what we talked about too, whenever you're trying to look for that ball flight, a lot of times it doesn't come with anything other than a slight shift of pressure inside the foot and outside the foot, you know? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. You know what I mean though? Just getting a little, feeling it from the ground up a little bit. Oh, totally. I mean, mm. the beauty of this, I haven't missed one lap. Exactly. Probably hit eight out of nine fairways. I just like how you can turn hard on it and it just kind of stays there, you know? I mean, I'm not afraid of that ball going left. Not at all. We'll see another one. I love that turn right there. God, I got so far behind it. And that's just so nice. Mm. Jesus, that's a, you know what I know? I saw Rory the other day. His sh shoulder turn. I mean, you can just turn behind it's the freaking so ball. Behind, it's get so gets behind the ball. Like, oh, yeah, as he should, too, as you should, as, all, as we all should. I'll go shorter arms. Be arms beautiful turn right here. Watch us. You ready for that? Watch that shoulder turn behind that ball over the back foot. See how we see his back? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Yeah. Boom, That's look at that position. Way. It's unbelievable, right? That's my way. Mm. Get one real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go his absolute. My yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just gonna see what this does, you know? Oh my goodness. Is it good? Dude, that thing looks so I mean, good just, right there. The sequencing's not there because I'm, you know, not used to being there, but. Oh my God, dude. Look dude. At, oh, I'm how. more flexible than I thought. That's a pound, dude. Oh my God. I and get that face on it, that ball's gone. Oh, I gotta show this one right here. This is unbelievable. Watch this. All right, All right, here we go. Look at the width That's... and look at the turn. We were just going nuts on that one, trying to get a big body turn. Short arms, look how flexible my man is here. Watch this, watch this. This is ridiculous right here. Oh. Mm. Just absolutely torquing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to hit a couple of those and get the face on it. I mean, obviously that first one, I'm going to be out of sequence. Oh, of course. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I thought you did a great job with... Uh, with what, with what you, oh darn right it was, it was still hit hard. 
even without hitting the face, you got the same yardage you would have the other way. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, if I get right here, that first move like you're talking about, then it's just, the hands are along for the ride, the club head's along for the ride of that turn. And nothing, you can, you can over, over swing. Right, right. That and not be over swinging. Just send city on those. How much room do you have? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> like it's almost like I'm like. <laughs> like what do I do? The club should already be at the ball. Oh no, it's still got whip in it. Yeah. <laughs> The backswing, the look of it, dude, is just, it's so nuts. It's like, it's so much deeper. Yeah, it, the thing launches. You feel it? Right. That one, I actually got high on the face. You know what's awesome about it is that feeling in the backswing. Think about what that does for your hand path. It's like, it's like Sneed, Hogan, you know, mm -hmm. it just got so mm. Yeah, like with the huge turn and everything just right here. And then just soap here. Is that good? I mean, dude, the backswing looks great. Backswing looks great. Just keep that same control, keep it smooth. That was absolutely wrecked right there. All right, that, now I'm gonna do it, and I want to feel a little shorter arm swing. That's last two. Gets a little bit extra right drift now. to it, absolutely, yeah. No, I was just letting you feel it for a minute. Don't want to be critical, because I know you're just trying to open up that turn, but that would definitely help you. Am I on the right track? 100%. That's what takes control of your ball flight right there, bud. That's, that's like the one right there that's your fairway finder, but also mashing it. Because the other two that like weren't quite off the center, weren't quite the window. Had a little wide. drift up there. Yeah. A little and drift. So I lost the little, the connection coming down. And... and that's what, you know, that's what we were talking about earlier in the session when we talked about the little patience at the top. There was that one swing you made with the six iron that we were like, oh, that was just ridiculous. Um, that, that came from that same thought. Right, so we're putting it together. Big body short connected arm swing. It's a mantra that we've used for a very long time and the point of that is to make sure that, hey, big turn, but the arms are right there stuck to and connected to that turn. Truly leading to a position at the top that leads to the path of least resistance on the way through. Mm. Man, let go. Paul never moved at all. We hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson with Kevin Lucas. What a personality and what a player. We're looking forward to seeing what becomes of him in 2021 on the Corn Ferry Tour. Please click the link below to pick up three free videos and leave any questions or comments down below. We'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible.